Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to show you how to make deviled eggs. This is my favorite way to make deviled eggs. The recipe is based on the one in this book, the Nourishing Traditions Cookbook for Children. I really like this cookbook. Not everything in here fits if you're on the GAPS diet, but if you have transitioned off the GAPS diet or don't need to do the GAPS diet, it's a great cookbook. And there are things in here too that do fit with GAPS. But I really like this deviled eggs recipe in here and I love the idea of topping them with salmon roe afterwards. So I'm gonna show you the whole process. So pretty simple. These are fresh eggs that came from our chickens out back. So I'm going to put the number that I want, which is going to be 12, into my saucepan here. And as you see, I don't usually wash them beforehand because we're gonna boil them anyway, so that's just the way I do it. If you wanna wash them, go for it. But I just cover them with water. I wanna see it. Mm. with eggs. Uh-huh, they're gonna be deviled eggs. And then I just put a lid on. I put them on the stove, and then I turn my temperature all the way to high. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to a boil, and then as soon as it comes to a boil, when I hear that it's a really good rolling boil, I'm going to turn off the heat I'm going to take the pan off of the hot burner and you know remove it from the burner and then set my timer for 10 minutes and I'll show you that step once we get there but for right now we're just gonna wait for it to come up to a boil okay so now we're at a nice rolling boil and so I'm going to turn off the heat take it off of the burner and then set my timer for 10 minutes and then once the time is up, we're going to drain them, chill them in cold water to stop the cooking, peel them, and make them into deviled eggs. All right, the timer has gone off, so it's time to go ahead and drain these. I'm just going to hold the lid like this and drain it over the sink and then run lots of cold water over the eggs. And the next step is to just peel all of these. So I'm gonna get to work doing that. As you can see, these eggs are very fresh and are not peeling very beautifully. And I know that there are a bunch of different tricks that people talk about for making eggs easier to peel, even when they're fresh. So I've tried some of different ones, poking them first, putting baking soda in the water, different things like that. And I don't know if anything works really well. If you guys have tricks that you use, that you really like, that do work well for making fresh eggs easier to peel, I'd love to hear what they are. So please leave me a comment and let me know what you do. So the next step now is to slice each of the eggs in half lengthwise and then carefully scoop the yolk out into this pitcher or mixing bowl or whatever you wanna mix the filling in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with each of these and then I'm gonna talk about what I use to make the filling. This happens all the time when I make these and they still taste good. Can I see them? Mm-hmm. A lot of eggs. It is. You have twice as many when you cut them in half, huh? All right, now that I have all the yellows, the yolks in here, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients to make the filling. So in the bottom, I have half of a cup of mayonnaise. And then to that, I'm going to add one Mama. teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And then I'm just going to add a little sprinkle of pepper. Pepper, oh pepper. 
and just a little sprinkle of my nice mineral salt. And then with a fork, I'm gonna mash those yolks and mix them together really well. Okay, and then once that's mixed together really well, I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm going to put a nice dollop of the filling into each of the eggs. And I'll finish the rest of these later off of camera. And then I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle of paprika on there. And then something that I really like to do that really boosts the nutrition and is a wonderful way to get in salmon eggs is to put a little bit of salmon roe or caviar on the top of each one. So fish eggs are super nutrient dense. They're one of the foods that when Dr. Weston A. Price was doing his travels, he found out that different very healthy cultures that lived near things like this would have these as a first food for babies and encourage pregnant women to eat them and parents before having children and because they knew that they were so rich in nutrients they have the perfect balance of all those really important fat soluble vitamins that we need to be really healthy they're really amazing for brain health they're just really really good so hormone health too so I just like to put a little bit on the top And like I said, it's a really tasty way to get these fish eggs too. And I think it's really pretty too. So I usually do some with those because they are pretty rich and then some without and that's all that there is to it. So that's how I like to make deviled eggs. I hope that you enjoyed seeing that. Make sure to check out that description box for links to some of the places where I like to buy ingredients and kitchen Bye. equipment as well as a link to this cookbook that this recipe is based on, the Nourishing Traditions Cookbook for Children. Also check out that description box for links to free ebooks and other goodies. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.